Oh, hi, it's Pastor Goodman and the Drive to School podcast. Today, we are going to talk about the things you're going to see in church this Sunday. And one of the things that I'm going to hear in church this Sunday is from uh, Luke chapter 14, uh, uh, the Pharisees setting a trap for Jesus. They they bring him to dinner and uh, they're just, there happens to be a man with dropsy, this like horrible disfiguring disease who's just coincidentally sitting there right right across from Jesus so that they can ask him this this poignant question. Is it lawful to heal on the Sabbath day or not? Weird coincidence that happened to be, or it's a trap, and Jesus sees right through it. Um, It's the Pharisees who missed the point, because honestly, the point of the Sabbath is healing. Healing is the whole point of having a Sabbath day. God sets aside this day that we would receive his gifts, receive his mercy, receive his pardon, forgiveness, life, and salvation, receive healing for the spiritual sickness that is in us. And the Pharisees, they had this whole shtick on, like, do no work. And we know that, like, the Sabbath day is, is not just, like, don't do work. We, we know that. But at the same time, we lose sight of healing being the point of the Sabbath so much that a lot of times on that, that Sunday, we would deep down prefer just waffles instead of church. Uh, but still, there is this guy who just wishes to be anywhere else. He just happens to be there as the object lesson for everybody to try and catch each other. And Jesus breaks the awful silence. Is it lawful to heal on the Sabbath day or not? He asks them. And they remained silent because they they really wanted to ask him that. They just didn't quite have the courage. But then uh, Jesus does something wonderful. He takes the man who is disfigured and, and he heals him and he sends him away. And actually, everybody gets the thing that they want. You see, uh, the man who can't utter a single petition through all of his shame is is healed. The Pharisees get nothing just like they wanted. And Jesus gets to save a sinner in need and, and preach to those who do not yet believe. And He's done the same thing every Sabbath day since. Uh, this is this is why we have a Sabbath day. God calls us to remember the Sabbath day by keeping it holy. And that doesn't just mean vacation from work. It means go receive God's gifts for every illness, for every sin, for every shame, for every time we just want to crawl into a hole and pull the whole thing on top of us and just disappear and not be the centerpiece that everyone is talking about. And for every time that I would really just prefer waffles, Jesus sets aside time to be with me on the Sabbath day. He is with me in the body and the blood in in church. He is with me in that preached word that forgives me my sins. Remember the Sabbath day by keeping it holy. It means that we should fear and love God so that we do not despise preaching and his word, but hold it sacred and gladly hear it and learn it. And that means that God, again, wants to make you holy so badly that he sets aside time to get it done. He sets aside time in in your calendar, and, and that's because he wants you to use that time to receive his gifts. And they do wonderful things. Jesus norms the man that the wages of sin have made a monster. The man with dropsy becomes just another face in the crowd, hearing the word and holding fast to it in faith. He is a saint brought out of the great tribulation, clothed in white robes, washed in the blood of the Lamb. Jesus got that man from ashamed and wishing he was dead to living and singing hymns in heaven with just a word. It is finished. He bears the cross to cover the sin to cleanse that which sin would disfigure and destroy. Jesus bears the cross for for all of us because, well, everyone who exalts himself will be humbled and he who humbles himself will be exalted. And again, that's not actually about you and figuring out the right place to sit. It's about Jesus for you, the, the exalted one, Jesus, God Almighty. He was humbled on a cross and the humbled man sitting there suffering in the pain and disease and shame of everybody else's stares, he is exalted. He is brought from disease into salvation when Jesus spoke for him upon that cross. It is finished. And he speaks to you too, that you would not be made holy by where you sit, by how you behave, what you do or don't do. You are made holy by Jesus. And that holiness is delivered to you on the Sabbath day. He he rose from the grave to be present for you in word and sacrament, truly present. And that's, that's the great gift about church. We don't go to church to hear about God. We go to hear God speak to us through our pastor. We go to hear God promise us to feed us with his body and blood god god is actually present in church and and that's the only reason that it's worth going because well jesus wants to heal on the sabbath so he sets aside a time and a place that we would receive this gift